watch YouTube, make sure to like, comment, some mother if you're watching on YouTube, you can subscribe to the Twitch. You can watch live. We live stream every single day, probably around like 5 p.m. PST, maybe. You know what I mean? Sometimes. Join the Discord if you haven't. The link's in the description below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I'm, I'm sorry. Let's get to the video. We watching Chuck E. Cheese pizza is recycled. Should you be scared of Chuck E. Cheese video? Nope, not scary. <sighs> Ooh. This is just sad. Okay, everyone, listen up. I've been doing a lot of FNAF episodes over on Game Theory, all right? Mm -hmm. A lot. Some might even say too many. So if you want to make me scream, it's going to take more than jump scares and a creepy pizza joint. Come at me with something new. Something He's better than me, bro. I could get jump scared a million times and I still jump like a little bitch. <laughs> Fresh, something different. Well, if you want something fresh. Nightmare Mangle, you have the floor. That pizza you're eating is recycled from used pizzas. Ew. Yeah, we took random pieces that other patrons left behind, stuck them together to make a quote-unquote new pizza for Ew. you. Ew. Uh, uh, uh. Ew. This is my first time watching. That's kind of cool. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Food Theory, where a theorist can be a theorist. If your upbringing was anything like mine, the go-to place for birthday parties when you were a kid was Chuck E. Cheese mm. or Showbiz Pizza, if you harken back to the olden days like I do. Special honorable mention to Discovery Zone. You were great, but definitely a lot more birthday parties at Chuck E. Cheese, gotta admit. I mean, sure. what is not to love here? Chuck E. Cheese Ew. has it all. Games, ball pits, is that their new logo? creepy animatronic bands, employees walking around in character suits, and of course, pizza. And that, my friends, is where today's theory begins. Because there's a bizarre rumor that's been floating around the internet about the pizza served at Chuck E. Cheese. And it's been out there for over a decade. Blows my mind that this hasn't been proven or disproven yet. The theory mm. is that if somebody at Chuck E. Cheese doesn't finish their whole pizza, the employees take it to the back, take those pieces off the tray, Ew. and then use them to form a new pizza to serve to customers. All of it is a means to save money. Now, why the heck would people think anything nearly this crazy? That is a bold claim to be making because it is definitely illegal for a restaurant to secretly reserve leftovers Ew. to a different customer. But if you look around online, the quote unquote evidence is there. Picture after picture after picture True. online documenting the strange. Oh my God, look, bro. Look at how small this little cheese slice is. And then look, this is, this, this is from a completely different pie. This pepperoni looks like a completely different one. It's like they just reuse them. They don't, do they sell singular? slices in in Chuck E. Cheese? That's crazy, bro. Shaped Chuck E. Cheese pizza phenomenon. Slices that are different lengths. No. So they don't sell. Oh my God. They're reusing pizza. They have to. Chat, if they're not selling singular slices, like it, it'll be different. It's like, okay, here, here's one slice. And then they have like half a pie. And then they put that together with another half a pie. That is weird. Crust edges that don't line up. Pepperonis that just don't match. But it was a little over a year ago when this conspiracy theory blew up big time here on YouTube. When a YouTuber who shall not be named went to Chuck E. Cheese to quote unquote investigate the issue by ordering two pizzas and to find that he did indeed receive some janky looking results. 40 minutes. I kind of want to, I kind of want to watch that instead of this one. Million views later, the damage was done. Chuck E. Cheese is now filing for bankruptcy and oh. becoming the literal embodiment of Five Nights at Freddy's. Don't get me wrong. I think there are a lot of reasons for their financial difficulties. It was Shane, Shane Dawson, Shane. Let me go see. It's really long though, is it? He ruined investigating conspiracies with Shane Dawson. Bro, he ruined Chuck E. Cheese? Chuck E. Cheese conspiracy, all cuts, all scenes. Kenji, stop. No, wait, why? This guy who wanted to mess with his cat. What? Shane's awful. Wait, why is he awful? Shane did some stuff. He's a cat f***er. What? I think at one point he almost got sued. You said what? He's the one who screwed his cat. Like it is confirmed he f***ed a cat why why is there no videos on this what the fuck why i've never heard about this seems like some really big news i think he fucked his cat fr you missed the drama but that's not drama that is jail time what the fuck are y'all talking about why am i just now hearing about this dude hello what the fuck is happening bro all right let's continue this video he didn't fuck his cat 
but he did say he thought about he, oh he thought about fucking his cat that's still weird but not as weird as fucking the cat was it just a bad joke or was it like a serious talk it's still weird regardless but like it was a stupid joke oh heard you it was a bad joke all his jokes are bad <laughs> okay got you <laughs> copy reasons for their financial difficulties and weird fucking youtubers bro arcades. there are a lot of reasons for their financial difficulties declining interest in arcade style restaurants in an era of accessible free video games true World pandemics keeping people out of stores true. The, fact that the robots legitimately look like they want to eat our souls thereby spawning generations of children with animatronic nightmares but true. You know, rumors of broken health codes and recycled pizza definitely ain't helping their bottom line so what is going on here looking around the internet there seems to be plenty of evidence that Chuck E. Cheese serves pizza that looks stitched together. That's but insane. from where I'm sitting, what seems to be lacking is real evidence of slice recycling. Ew. I've yet to see any footage, for instance, of a Chuck E. Cheese employee carrying a pizza back into the kitchen. And let's be honest, in this age where anyone can doctor a photo for upvotes on Reddit, where judgment happens after reading a headline rather than reading the whole article, where True. all the evidence that you need to prove something is an N of one, something smells wrong here. And I'm not just talking about the dead bodies stuffed inside of the suits. There are plenty of unanswered questions in this Chuck E. Cheese conspiracy, and we here at Food Theory aim to answer those questions today. I want to know what the corporate response from Chuck E. Cheese was, for one thing. Perhaps they have a perfectly sane explanation for it. I'm also curious to know whether Chuck E. Cheese's pizzas still look like this in 2020, over a year after they got mm. put on blast by the internet. Have they changed their ways now that the eyes of the world- Is Chuck E. Cheese still open, chat? Or have they closed down, bro? It's 2023. Are they still open? Yeah, they are. Yo, someone go eat some recycled pizza and let me know if it's recycled or not bro Older off of them or are they confident that they have nothing to hide also do pizzas at every chuck e cheese restaurant turn out this way like how common is this and above all else i want to know why why are the pizzas turning out to look all mismatched whether it's shady or not there has to be a reason for it and i intend to determine what that reason is once and for all because rumors like this can do real damage and if these rumors are indeed unfounded then the True. internet needs to know because that would mean chuck e cheese is really Really getting the short end of the awkwardly sized pizza Ew. slice. In the aftermath of that massive Chuck E. Cheese video, CEC Entertainment, Chuck E.'s parent company, had this to say, quote, no conspiracies here. Our pizzas are made to order and we prepare our dough fresh in restaurant. Okay. Which means that they're not always perfectly uniform in shape, but always delicious, end quote. Okay, but no one was really doubting that the dough was prepared in restaurant. Like, the PR team, they saw people sharing these photos online, and they watched the video exposés, and that was the accusation that they felt like they needed to defend themselves against? I mean, fresh dough is- They're like, hey, we make this fresh, all right? You know what I mean? Better pizza, better ingredients. Hey, talk your cheese, Okay, stop playing with me. Like, what are you talking about? Okay. And they're like, well, you're recycling pizza. <laughs> oh, hey, I mean, not everybody, uh, recycling saves the planet. Okay, bitch, not everybody finishes their food. Okay, so you can't really be mad at us. <laughs> it's fine. I've had fresh dough from plenty of pizza places. I've made fresh dough myself. But those pizzas, including my own janky pizzas, never look as haphazard as these. Even in my worst looking pizzas made at home, I have never had a fresh dough look that just randomly juts out like this at awkward shots sharp angles. It just doesn't happen that way. The stuff about the shape not being uniform misses the point entirely. This isn't about the fact that Chuck E. Cheese pizzas aren't perfectly round. It's that the pizzas don't look cohesive mm -hmm. like every other pizza in existence does. The pizza Yeah, you said this about three f time buddy speed it up a little bit pal did he not just say this three times he just said the same thing th 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 do shit get to it straight up look like they originated from different pies you can't expect me to believe the reason that this pizza's perimeter looks the way it does is because Chuck E. cheese makes their dough quote fresh in restaurant that's entirely irrelevant to what we're talking about here all you guys had to do was say we do not recycle other consumers True. pizza, and you didn't do that so Suffice it to say, CEC's statement has a glossy PR feel to it that doesn't quite put my concerns at rest. By the way, the recycled slices fiasco isn't the only scandal plaguing Chuck E. Cheese at the moment either. In May, reports emerged that Chuck E. Cheese was selling its pizzas under a pseudonym on delivery apps. By rebranding themselves as Pascali's Pizza and Wings on Grubhub and other apps, CEC essentially found a way to trick adults into buying Chuck E. Cheese pizza. <laughs> After they got caught, and got caught of course they did, a company spokesperson admitted to the pseudonym but insisted that the pizzas from Pascali's which happens to be the name of another member of Munch's make believe <laughs> they made a ghost kitchen with the mask on <laughs>
<laughs> you can't even be mad. Why are they getting in trouble, bro? That's genius. Holy shit. And the Chuck E. Cheese animatronic band were slightly different, having a thicker crust and more sauce. The spokesperson conceded, however, that Pascali's pizzas are made in the same kitchen as Chuck E. Cheese's pizza with the exact same ingredients. <laughs> oh, what a bad look. So Chuck E. Cheese has They're weathered finessing. more scandals in the past couple of years than any wholesome pizza place for kids should. But are the scandals of their own making? Does Chuck E. Cheese deserve to get dragged like this? I just can't bring myself to believe that any multinational restaurant chain could do something so dangerous, so brazenly illegal as intentionally recycling leftover pizza slices. Like, I don't care how much of a cheapskate you and are. And really, it, bro, it shouldn't be illegal if you think about it. Would I want to eat some recycled pizza? No. But I'm sure there's a lot of hungry, starving individuals that would. You know what I mean? And why don't we have, like, I feel like every restaurant should have a food bank, bro. You know what I mean? Or something like, like, like a, like an open kitchen in the back. You know what I mean? Because, like, there's so much, like, have you ever seen, like, Dunkin' Donuts at the end, at the end of the, the day? They throw out all their donuts, all the bagels, everything. You know what I mean? Like, all that could be donated. The reason why they don't, I think, is because they get sued. Like, if someone gets sick from that free food, then they get sued or some shit. I'm pretty sure. But really, it's just capitalism. And it's, it's messed up when you think about it. How many people are starving, bro? It's fucked. That is just a new level of low. Perhaps there's a benign explanation for why their pizzas look all Frankenstein together. Ew. Like, maybe they stitch together slices from fresh pizzas rather than used pizzas. Sure, it'd be a weird company policy, but it's no weirder than recycling slices and sending them through the oven twice. What I'm saying is that the recycled slices theory is a bold accusation with mm -hmm. potential legal ramifications. If recycling slices is company-wide policy, I have to believe employees would be sounding the alarm about it True. loud and clear. So what I want is evidence of wrongdoing. I want to see those leftover slices. Okay, actually get to it, bro. Like, you're actually pissing me off. Closed due to COVID, so we can only go inside for takeout orders. Let's go get some pizza, shall we? If I don't come out, just assume I was stuffed inside of an animatronic suit, okay? And he looks like how he sounds. Can I just say, being inside a vacant Chuck E. Cheese restaurant had a real FNAF vibe to it. Of course, doesn't say anything about their pizza, but hey, I can't. Hater? What the f- I what? Bitch, I wasn't hating! Motherfucker, what? It's like, like, you know, like a, a voice matches the, the appearance. Some people don't. Some people got like a, hey, what's good? What's going on? And then they got like a little ass 5-2 build. You know what I mean? That pissed me off. Why Why do y'all always think so negative about me? Get your life together. And just let Five Nights at Freddy's stuff slide without mentioning. And fix your edges. Looking f up. Innocent construction project or building a sister location underneath Chuck E. Cheese? Hmm. Mysterious construction out front, you know it's an underground bunker. Now, in an effort to get reliable results, we expanded upon internet experiments by looking at a larger number of pizzas from numerous restaurants Smart. across multiple days. I like Steph that. and I tackled the East Coast while Food Theory Hold on, who is Steph? <laughs> Hey, baby girl. <laughs> Researcher and Tootsie Pop champion Ooh. Amy covered the West Coast. Amy, I might hey, add, Amy. wasn't quite as creeped out by the empty restaurants as I was. Between the two of us, we ordered 10 pizzas from five... His wife... Oh, shit, my fault. I'm sorry. Yo, ga game theory, food theory, my fault, bro. I apologize. I didn't know that was... um, Sir, they have a child. I didn't I didn't know that. My fault. I thought... I thought Steph... Then why he sending his wife all the way to the other side of the motherfucking uh, United States? That don't make sense. I would want my wife to, to be with me. He ain't make... He ain't not eating make... Not eating Chuck and Cheese with me. She ain't going all over to California. Fuck. Yeah, she probably over here getting stretched. She's catching stretched. No, Steph is with him. He is with her. Oh, Steph is with her? Oh, Steph is his wife. That cha that changes nothing. I still think she's hot. W for food theory, bro. Like, what are we talking about? You know what I mean? W for my man. He, he got a hot wife. Nice. Locations. We also made sure to get the pizzas in a variety of different ways. Some we picked up as takeout. Some we ordered on various delivery apps. We even ordered a couple pizzas from Pascali's Pizza and Wings. Pascali. Just to see up with that one. I was especially curious to see how many of the pizzas, if any, would look stitched together. Obviously, the eyes of the world have been on Chuck E. Cheese for the past couple of years, so I was curious to see whether the restaurant capitulated and changed their pizza-making process as a result. And as soon as we opened the boxes, we had our answer. Chuck E. Cheese has made zero changes. Their pieces oh. look the way that they've always looked, which is janktacular. It definitely Why? looks like this piece doesn't belong. It looks like this piece doesn't belong, but it's actually like hard to jigger it into a shape that looks like it should be 
the pizza shape. In all, I'd say three of the ten pizzas had that Frankenstein-y quality to them. It's clearly not your prettiest pizza. And the delivery method had nothing to do with it. The reason we ordered some of them as takeout was just so we could eliminate any jostling from the delivery process as a variable. Mm. Seth and I opened a pizza box right there outside of the restaurant in the parking lot, and it had crust and pepperonis that didn't line up. Why does so it do that? Whatever is happening in these pizzas, it's happening in the kitchen. That means if we're going to crack this mystery, we need to get eyes in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. So Team Theorist reached out to two. Why did he do that? Why did he just sing to me? Like, I, did, I felt uncomfortable. I didn't like that at all. Hamilton reference? It's a theater kid thing. Theater kid head ass. He's a nerdy guy. That's just him. Heard you. Yeah, it's from Hamilton. Got you. Yeah, I don't I don't know none of that. None of that. My fault. Real life Chuck E. Cheese employees for interviews. L streamer don't know. Sorry I wasn't in fucking theater. Like, what are we talking about, bro? I was too busy jumping in the air 360, kicking motherfuckers in the mouth, okay? Over here winning fucking uh what's it called? Gold medals and shit. All right, buddy. Stop fucking playing with me. Want me to Figalo on stage, huh? You want me you want me to Figalo, Figalo! out of here how about that huh for interviews one of the interviewees who requested to go by their reddit username the hoove was a cec employee at two different chuck e cheese locations in two different cities and worked there years before the viral video that set this conspiracy theory on figaro kenji with an r i'm not a theater kid i don't give a f what is up with y'all chance? I don't care. I don't care. I will literally say, uh, I don't know, fruit roll up, fruit roll up. Like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck theater. Fuck on God, fuck theater. On God. Fuck them low plays. Ain't no one watching them shits. Fuck out of here. Moves. Get fucking out. 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 Fire. The other, who also asked to go by their Reddit username Classy underscore Corpse, is a current employee. But that's opera. <laughs> Opinions on Hamilton. I don't fucking know what Hamilton is. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> you guys are so annoying. Whoa. Let me be and I just want to react. YouTube, you see what I deal with, bro? Chat be on me. They be on my body. They on my body. I appreciate y'all. I like your YouTube comments. You always so nice to me. You always so nice that you love me. You love me for real. You want my sippy sippy and my ass? You can have a sippy sippy in my ass for real if you want it. No. Nope. And working after that viral video was released, both have experienced bussing tables at Chuck E. Cheese. Meaning if the recycled slices theory is or was ever CEC policy, they would have been specifically responsible for taking the slices back into the kitchen. Furthermore, both employees have some firsthand knowledge of the kitchen and the pizza making process. The two written interviews were conducted independently of one another, yet we received similar answers oh. from both of our interviewees, who both completely rejected the notion that Chuck E. Cheese might recycle their slices. According to the current CEC employee, quote, the recycled pizza is definitely a myth. Believe me, even the staff would never think of doing such a thing. And the former employee agreed, writing, quote, no, having worked at two different locations, I have never seen ever anyone even think this was a good idea. So why do they look like that? To CEC to do this. They were equally unified in their responses when we asked about the possibility of- Damn, who is that? Being taken back. What are them titties? Sorry. Kitchen. Both employees agreed that it's something that just doesn't happen. Happen. CEC entertainment policy is that leftover food. That's a stock image, Kenji. It's a stock image. Is there more? Is there any more stock? <laughs> in the thank you boxes aka their name for the trash bins in the dining room and game floor areas and the current cec employee explained that this policy is followed by employees quote from them when i bust the tables we dump any excess food in the trash bins out on the game room floor we don't bring any food back to the kitchen unless someone demands to reheat their pizza to which we have to oblige and our own field experiments support these claims remember we ordered all of our pizzas during lockdown i even bought myself a chuck e cheese face mask as a keepsake there are obviously some downsides to doing an experiment. Oh, yeah. So, dude, there's literally, you can't recycle a pizza because no one's eating there. So what are, what pizza are they going to recycle? I think it's just like that. They just come out the oven like that. It actually helped us. Because the dining rooms are closed at every restaurant that we ordered a pizza from, we know for a fact that none of our 10 pizzas came from other customers' leftovers. Because there are no customers in the restaurant to leave leftovers. Mm. It actually allowed us to control an entire variable that otherwise we couldn't have controlled. That's and big as brain. a result, when we opened our pizza boxes and saw Why? tiny looking pizzas, it really told us something. It told us that there is no way that leftovers are part of this mystery. When leftovers are removed from the equation, Chuck E. Cheese's pizzas just still come out looking like this. Why? So there must be another explanation. I'm sorry for ever doubting you, Chuck. It's okay, Matt Pat. I forgive you. However, before I list the recycled slices theory as 100% theorist certified false, there is a huge question left to answer. Why do the pizza 
pizzas come out looking so mismatched? Like, there are a gazillion other pizza companies out there. Mm -hmm. Why is it that Chuck E. Cheese is like the only one in existence to have these freaky looking ones? The current CEC employee we interviewed had a surprisingly simple answer for this. An answer that I kind of feel like CEC Entertainment should have just come out and said for themselves when this whole conspiracy theory hit the fan a couple years ago. According to the employee, quote, the uneven topping look comes from the blade we use. The rocking blade has next to no edge on it for safety reasons. Therefore, it's an absolute pain when it comes to cutting pizzas with it, which is what gives it the Frankenstein look, if you will. If you oh. want the other half of your pepperoni slice, it slipped to the inside of the cut. And the former employee added that the process of transferring the pizzas from the cooking rack onto the cutting board and finally onto the serving tray is also contributing to the jostled appearance that some of the pizzas have. Our field experiments support these claims as well. Food theory field researcher Amy specifically noticed that the Chuck E. Cheese slices were surprisingly lightweight. They didn't have a lot of sauce or cheese holding the pieces together. So I will say this. These pieces of pizza don't seem very weighty. They don't have a lot of crust to them. They don't have a lot of toppings, even if you ask for extra. And so I feel like when they're getting cut up, if it's done really roughly, it's really easy to just throw these pieces of pizza around. So it all comes down to the pizza rocker that they use to cut the pieces. The blades are dull, and as a result, they wreck the pizzas more than a sharpened oh. blade otherwise would. Ironically, it's a safety policy that Chuck E. Cheese has in place that's led to a conspiracy theory accusing them of serving unsafe pizza. Now, remember how we also got those pizzas from Pascali's Pizza and Wings? The pizzas that CEC Entertainment claims are thicker, have more sauce? Well, since they're being prepared in the exact same kitchen as Chuck E. Cheese pizzas, that means Pascali's pizza should hold up better against the dull pizza rockers being used in those kitchens. After all, it's more substantial and has more sauce holding the pieces in place, right? And that's actually exactly what we found. Neither of the pizzas delivered from Pascali's really showed any oh, wow. Frankenstein attributes, whereas three of the eight- I saw feet. Tears! I see tears! Look at the feet! Any attributes, whereas three of the eight of the Chuck E. Cheese pizzas did. So there you have it, friends. The Chuck E. Cheese Recycled Slices Conspiracy Theory is hereby declared 100% theorist certified false. Do the mm. pizzas come out looking wacky sometimes? Absolutely. But there's nothing illegal or unsafe behind it. If anything, the restaurant's guilty of being overly safe. Just don't tell that one to the animatronics. But hey, that's just... That's a cool video, bro. 10 out of 10 video, now I know. It's safe to eat at Chuck E. Cheese. The only reason why it looks like that is because they barely use any sauce or cheese and and they really they cheap as shit for real they don't want to even sharpen their blades cheap ass motherfucker. so if you want to eat go ahead and eat just know it might be a little fucked up really they should just use scissors or something to cut it or may maybe like just a normal rolling thingy because because i don't know that little rocker blade they stupid they stupid for that you can really hurt yourself with a rocker blade that don't sound right that don't sound good at all thank you for watching like comment subscribe and make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and subscribe and like comment subscribe if you haven't subscribed it thank you bye